there must be someone out there that knows what happened to Stephen that day. And we just want, we're, we're asking them, appealing, please help us to get closure for Stephen. Last week marked a year since the murder of Stephen Morrison here in Epping. That is one year which the family have been without a son, a brother and a father. It was always there for me, especially like having four brothers. It was, um, it was the one that, that really always looked after me, always made sure I was all right, always made sure I'd eaten, always made sure I had money. Um, it's not till after they're gone that you actually realise uh, how happy he was. Now like we feel the emptiness because he was always so loud and so bubbly and and I always say he just breezes in like a tornado. Um, he was he was that lively. Um, he always saw uh, the brighter side of life. Stephen was stabbed here in this car park in Epping Road shortly before 8pm on Tuesday 23rd of June last year. He suffered a single stab wound and sadly died while in hospital. I, was just, I think I just went into shock. I didn't believe it, I couldn't accept it and it made it hard where I didn't get to see him, I didn't get to say goodbye. Um, because I wasn't able to see him and say goodbye, it made it harder to believe it was him. And I kept saying, but you don't know if you've got Stephen. And because I've not seen him, I've not been able to see him. And it just made it so hard for me to accept that he was gone. In total, my team have arrested 14 people in connection with Stephen's murder. And we believe we are getting closer to securing the vital evidence we need to charge his killer. I believe the answers to Stephen's murder lie within certain groups of people in London. These people and the people around them know exactly what happened on that day. They know who killed Stephen. It's been hard. It's been really hard. Um, I'm the little, the little sister of the family and I try and keep strong for everyone else, mum. And, you know, be there to talk to, like, to the rest of the family, but, um... And it's the children, as they're getting older, he's, we know he's missing their milestones, like they're reaching milestones and he's missing them. And, and he just loved all his nieces and nephews. And, and he was really close with Charlotte's daughter and he's missing all that, she's getting so big. And yeah. before you know it, she's gonna be going to school and he won't be seeing that. And um, and you do feel that, you, because you look back on all these videos where he was always so playful with all the children, and um, you just think, oh, like when she does something, you think, oh, you Steve would have loved that. Yeah. Over time, loyalties change and ties are broken, and people make mistakes. That will happen. And due to the focus that we have on this case, we will not miss anything and we will leave no stone unturned. We have now secured a £10,000 reward from Crime Stoppers. That means you can give information anonymously if you want to. The information you have, no matter how small or insignificant you think it is, could be the key to our investigation. So I'm asking people who know what happened to please come forward and give Stephen's family the justice they deserve. It's not going to bring Stephen back, but at the same time, it's going to give us closure and he has so much more to offer, he has so much more to live for. You know, he's not going to see all the milestones in his son's life, he's not going to see him leave school achieve what Stephen achieved in his life with his GCSEs and he's not going to see him get married, go to college, go to university, he's not going to see his son become a father and, and that matters and Stephen mattered and it's a big loss 
very, very big loss for us. And we're just missing so much.